Welcome, welcome everybody. This is createwithnancy.com and I am coming to you for an awesome Facebook Live today. And I hope if you are here, um, come in and join me. Um, I have some, they're fairly quick, but really awesome looking cards. So if you love the beach, you are gonna love these cards. Um, if you love summer, they just scream summer as well. So hopefully if you are tuning in, you're gonna say hello. So leave me a comment that you are here and I'm going to just kind of refresh my page here so I can see comments better. And Stella, hey, you're the first first person to say hello. How are you doing? Um, I'm so glad you're tuning in. So yes, and you got to message me to see how you liked um, your class kit that you received a while ago. Um, have you finished it? And I'd love your feedback as well. So message me, I would love to hear from you. So if anybody else is here, come say hello. So welcome Gail, hey. It's, um, it's kind of a beautiful day, sort of. It's getting hot. Um, I don't know, I've been kind of inside, I've got the air on, um, just staying cool because we have hot days coming up, like really hot days, hot and rainy days. So who wants to be outside during those? Um, and the humidity I'm sure is gonna be out of this world. So if you are tuning in, say hello. So Kathy, you're here too, welcome, welcome. You just, and you finished it. Oh, Stella, I am so happy and you loved it, so thank you. So make sure you check out the one that I've got coming up, the Summer Fun Retreat as well. You might just love that one as well. So we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Um, but first I wanna kinda talk about um, the Sand and Sea Suite. It's retiring and um, I, I, I hate to say, I just haven't had a chance to use it. Um, but luckily the bundle is carrying over and most of the accessories are. So the only thing that is being really discontinued is that beautiful paper. So um, so I think I wanna just kind of point it out to you. Um, so if you haven't got this and you fall in love with this bundle, you're gonna to wanna to grab some of this paper as well, okay? Perfect, hi Linda and hi Jean, welcome, welcome. So um, let me think, I think I got my desk all set up and we'll kind of start getting down to business here because um, there's a lot to share. So, okay, so here we go. So here you can find in the mini catalog, uh, the Sand and Sweet, the Sand and Sea Sweet collection, okay? So they got some beautiful samples here and then everything is really carrying over except for these um, seashell stickers, seaside shell stickers, okay? And these are 50% off, but this beautiful, gorgeous designer paper is being discontinued and it is full price. So, um, so make sure you look at that and let's, um, let me think here. And, and if you haven't checked out the items in here, the discontinued list, make sure you check out because there are some fabulous deals on a lot of this stuff. Like for instance, the flamingo dies, they're 50% off for $12 and 50 cents. So some amazing deals. Lots of times, majority of times, the stamp sets are not, they're full price. So um, just check out the mini catalog and that list. You can find it um, on my blog, okay? Createwithnancy.com. So let's look at this gorgeous designer paper here. Um, of course, we all know Stampin' Up! designer paper, the majority of it is double-sided. So this side has the images. Okay, so we've got a kind of like this um, stripey type polka dot image here, and then these gorgeous seashells. Okay, and they really don't fit the dies, at least, you know, I didn't really check that out ahead of time. But let's just kind of look, maybe the, the smaller seashell would, um, yeah, the smaller seashell will cut out there. And I don't know, this one die is all one piece. So let's see, um, that's not, yeah, these are too big for this. 
So it just would be the smaller seashell that would cut out the designer paper, okay? So we have these gorgeous seashells, they're all, all painted for you, so you could fussy cut them as well, but they, it makes a great um, background paper. And of course we have the starfish, I, um, yeah, starfish. And then of course sand dollars, Mary Pat always loved looking for sand dollars when we were you know, up in Maine um, at the beach or in Florida. So these look like, I don't know, maybe sea urchin, urchins here um, that you might see like in the coral reefs and everything. We saw some really cool stuff in Maui when we went snorkeling. And then this is just a nice, um, nice subtle background paper as well. But look at this beautiful, uh, the back side of these. They use kind of like the watercolor and salt technique. Um, so it creates like a really great background. This is kind of like, I don't know, it could be like colorful sand is what reminds me of that. And then here, here they're definitely using that sea salt technique. Um, and then this one here, that's definitely like something you would see. And then this is definitely kind of like waves, if I think. And then of course this one as well. So a really pretty backgrounds. I think. Okay, so that's the fabulous designer paper. And I just got to put stuff so I don't cover other things up. So um, here is the stamp set. Um, it's got lots of great images and majority are you're able to cut out with the dies. Okay, just maybe not like these. I don't know. I think this one. Well, no, that one will cut out with the with the larger die. And they have great words as well. So really, really cool words. So check out your mini catalog for that. Okay, I see a few more have joined in. Welcome, Beth. Glad you're here today. And let's see. Okay, and then of course, here is our die set. So there's dies for the coordinated images. And then this is all one big piece. And I'm gonna show you why. This is really, really cool that it coordinates with our embossing folder. And as you can see, the stamps um, also um, will cut out here with this as well, okay? Um, so there is a way to do this to kind of, I didn't do this ahead of time, was to make kind of like a template. Maybe not. I'm gonna zip that, okay? So forget I said that. And Debbie, welcome Debbie. Okay, so we've got our that. Now let's look at this embossing folder. This is a 3D embossing folder and it was designed to coordinate with our um, die here. So, so what you're gonna wanna do is first um, die cut uh, with this first and then run your image through the embossing folder, okay? Um, do I have one here? I thought I did. What did I do with that? Um, hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay. So let me just kind of show you that. So I've already cut my uh, uh, image out with, with my die, okay? And then you can set this inside your embossing folder. It's good to do the die cutting first and then run this through um, the embossing folder second. That way it gives you the most sharpest detailed image um, that when you're when it pops out because if you emboss first and then did the die cutting when you run that sandwich through it, it it'll flatten your embossed part okay so it is it's it's pretty easy to line up when you kind of I'm holding it on the top part okay and just manipulating it around and then you would run it through your machine so because this is a 3d embossing folder I want to just kind of go over the sandwich with you because I know it's hard to remember. So it here on our platform, this is with the new um, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. It tells you exactly how to do this. So it says with 3D embossing folders, this is your sandwich, number one, your folder, and then this is uh, number four, okay? So it's this gray um, sandwich here, and that's it. No clear cutting plates whatsoever. And if you don't forget, I mean, that's what I love about this because 
there are a lot of different ways to 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 do our to use all our tools with that um, machine. So it's easy to see what you need to do and what your sandwich is. Okay, you don't have to really think about it. Just look at your plate so you can remember what kind of sandwich you need. Okay, so here's a, just a little reminder. Tomorrow, I've got a little. Um, I'll be putting today's cards up on my blog, createwithnancy.com. So um, go there tomorrow and you can see a little bonus um, project using this die cut, okay? All right, so let's get on to today's cards because I think they're pretty cool. So let me move a few things out of the way here and let's get started. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Uh, you know what, I can wait until we get to that, to that card, okay? All right, so you guys excited for this? Who loves the sea? Um, who loves going to the beach? Anybody here love going to the beach? Um, let me know what your thoughts are, okay? All right, so this one is pretty simple, okay? So what I've done is I ran a piece that was four inches by five and a quarter um, through my, um, embossing folder and then I've taken cut this in half for at two inches can the be used in the big shot yes all our 3d things everything that's standard now with our machine can still be carried over um, and I think the sandwiches are all correct okay Kathy so um, so just kind of um, you know if you're trying something through your machine and it feels like it's too tight then just kind of rethink your sandwich a little bit and um, try something different, okay? If it's really cranking and pushing, you don't want to break anything, okay? Okay, Stella loves the beach. Woohoo, Stella. Um, you do, yes. My husband does not also, Linda. <laughs> he is not a beach person, so he would not have done well in Maui. So one of the things they told us when we were there was the sea turtles are what creates the sand. Did anybody know that? So when they eat the coral, um, um, after they digested it, it comes out as sand. Isn't that kind of interesting? Um, that that's how I think, you know, we get the different and there's different textures of sand too. So it's really kind of neat to go in the ocean and and all you feel is sand and no rocks. So Mary Pat enjoyed that was just, you know, walking in and all there is is sand underneath your feet for a long time. So, okay, so let's get started with this card. Um, I've kind of pre-done some stuff, so we're not here all day, okay? So we're gonna use Blushing Bride. That's one of the um, colors that's in our designer paper. Yes, sea turtles. We yes, isn't that a cool fact, Linda? Um, we uh, we got to see some sea turtles pretty darn close. Um, we went to this one beach where they love to hang out, and um, and we were like ten feet away. I mean, they're endangered there in Hawaii, in Maui, and um, and you have to stay at least ten feet away from them. Otherwise, you can get a ticket. The fine is is astronomical there. Um, somebody posted a picture of two girls sitting on the beach right among the turtles, and I'm surprised they didn't get yelled at. Um, so I would have loved to have seen that. Okay, so what I did here was um, I die-cutted this, um, the folder, or what do I want to say? I die-cutted this first, okay? Then I, did I do that first? Or maybe I just might have stamped on some scrap paper. I stamped on some scrap paper because I only needed a little bit, okay? And then I um, kind of, um, you know, positioned this around it, okay? Cut it out, and then I uh, ran it through my embossing folder so I get that embossed image on there, okay? So what you're gonna do is, it doesn't completely uh, die cut everything, there's a few, just a few little snips that you have to do so you can get um, this fabulous die cut image, okay? So it's not really that hard to do. So you get a really cool seashell here, okay? See how easy that was? 
Okay, so we've got our seashell and we're gonna start off with um, some adhesive and I'm hoping, I'm probably gonna run out. I meant to refill this. I have some old snail on my desktop as well, so we might end up using that. Okay, so a real shot there a little bit. So we are going to just add this on. So I've got like about an eighth of an inch border. And then we'll add on this emboss piece. So really, I got two cards out of one with this. Less work, okay, to just cut it in half afterwards. So let's add this on, okay. So we've got um, just a nice little background. So I've already pre-stamped my words here. And let's grab some dimensionals. So let's see, love the beaches, but I, yeah, I could be woodsy too, I'll take it. I mean, I don't, wouldn't wanna to go to the beach all the time because I can't, I wouldn't wanna sit in the sun all the time, but every once in a while, it's nice to be at the beach or by the pool. I'll take the pool over the beach um, because that water was salty too. Okay, so we're gonna just add this on and let's add a little bit of adhesive in the center. Um, here's my dimensionals here. And then let's just pop a dimensional down there and at the top because this is gonna rest on my label here, okay? So these are the um, stitch nested labels here and I have used these a lot since they have come out so um, if you haven't these are retiring and I'm, I think they're full price I didn't check that out I can't remember let's oh that's in the annual catalog um, it's in the annual catalog so I can't remember if those were on sale or not but anyways the nested the stitch nested labels these are great dies to have as well Okay, um, I'm just looking at comments a little bit. Can't imagine have lights on the beaches at night where there are sea turtles, I know. All right, so let's add, um, we're gonna add some linen thread to this. And I chose to use these um, gold, um, these gilded gems here, okay? So let's grab a mini glue dot to add this on with. I'm gonna just kind of stick that there. And I've already pre-tied my bows, so let's uh, give it a little haircut here. There we go. All right, so let's add a few of these gilded gems. These are nice, they just really kind of add just that nice touch of bling. Whoops, it stuck to me. There we go. Hey, Nancy. Um, let's add that one there. And okay, I'm having trouble here today. Um, let's go there. Okay, see how quick and simple that was. But let's um, let's do a little stamping on our envelope. Okay, I love the stamps in here. Um, this here is kind of like I'm gonna call it like sand or kind of like water I guess so we'll add some water to our image can't remember yeah I wanted to stamp off so when you're using these definitely test out your ink to see if, um, if you need to do some stamping off okay so we're gonna stamp off there a little bit and then do I have what do I have oh yeah we're gonna use some misty moonlight because the other color in here was the seaside spray is what coordinating with this. But when you stamp off Misty Moonlight a couple of times, it um, really looks great. It's, it's, it's starting to look closer to like seaside spray, I, I think. I think it'll go pretty darn good. So don't you think? Because that's seaside spray right there. I think it's pretty darn close. This is a stamped off, one stamped off. This one I did two. So I think that helps out a lot. Okay, so let's just add in, um, any stamping on here is great, I think. So let's just add a star.
starfish here as well. There we go. Isn't that just lovely? The stamp set just, it's just great, great collage type um, stuff. All right, so there's our first card, everybody. And of course, I would finish off the inside with um, some of these stamped images as well, okay? So let's hear, I did this. See, I was using Melon Mambo and I wasn't really happy with that color. So, um, so I kind of switched to the Misty Moonlight. Okay, so card number one is done. Okay, card number two. This is really cool, I love this. So let's play with this. So this is just using the background to highlight here as well, okay? So let's, um, let me show you how I did this. So we are going to, so I've got my white card base and I think there's one more piece in here, I hope. Yep, there it is. So I've already pre-cut, die cut these for you. So let's, did I drop something? I can't remember. I hope not. Okay. So we're gonna add some color to this embossed image. Thank you, Stella. Hi, Sharon, welcome, welcome. Okay, so we are gonna use Blushing Bride, all right? Yep, I got all my pieces. Okay, I'm happy now. So let's use some Blushing Bride. Now, who loves the blending brushes? Anybody love the? So I'm gonna just kind of swipe, okay? Whenever you're using a blending brush, start off your paper because Otherwise, it's just going to leave, it could leave like, it depends on how inked your ink pad is, it could really um, leave like a big ink blob to it. So, um, so let's just start off and then you can um, apply as much pressure as you want because you can always add more, okay? So it's just better to start off subtly and gradually build up the color that you would like on your project, okay? Maybe I might go a little bit more intense over the embossed image to kind of highlight that embossing a little bit more to make it more pronounced, okay? Don't you love this? I mean, so, so much fun with this folder and I am so glad it's carrying over because there is a lot of fun things I think you can do with that, okay? I think that looks pretty good. So, and with your blending brushes, you can um, take and wash them, like wash them underneath the sink if you want, or just take even a wet cloth and wipe off the excess ink. Um, but I would try to keep them in like the same color family <coughs> if you could, excuse me. <coughs> All of a sudden I got a tickle. Let me just take a quick drink. Okay, that's better. Hi April, welcome. Okay. So let's adhere this to our piece of Blushing Bride here. Okay, so it's just an eighth of an inch border there. I'm gonna look at my sample here and see what I did. Okay, so we're going to then, let's add our label here. I love this saying, friends are like seashells, collect them all along the way. And I love collecting stamping friends it is the best thing in the world because I love sharing with you guys and I love seeing how you, um, what you do with your creativity as well. That is the best thing when I see that you stamped and have created. So let's just add this onto here. Let me look at my sample again. Okay, there we go. And then let's add our die cut images, the sand dollar. I stamped it with um, Blushing Bride ink, and then I took a little bit of the Blushing Bride and just um, sponged on a little bit more color to pronounce this a little bit more. I thought the Blushing Bride, the Blushing Bride ink just kinda is a little brownie to me, so I wish it was a little more pinker. You can wipe them on the chamois, yes you can. Um, you can also um, wash them under water too, um, and then let them dry overnight. You know, I would blot out as much excess as you can. Um, so, let's see, what are we gonna do? Okay, these are all flat, so let's, um, let's add some adhesive here. I need to look at my sample here to see. So let's, um, 
you know what we're gonna add a little dimension one dimensional here okay because that's gonna stick off the edge and then let's see yep that one will be fine there I don't think I need anything there I might grab a little mini one underneath this um, see so this tip okay and then let's just let's take another mini one on this edge okay and add a little bit of adhesive there we want to make sure they don't fall off okay how's that looking I think that looks pretty good nice collection of seashells so let's add some more another linen thread bow here okay and here we go boom boom there I, the linen thread I think goes great um, with this card it just uh, kind of reminds you of fish netting right I think and then we're gonna pop this on to our whisper white here whisper basic white <laughs> Old habits die hard because we've had Whisper White around <laughs> since I've been in business. So <clears throat> it's hard to like get beyond saying that terminology when you've used it for so many years. Once in a while, you just got to slip up. Okay, so let's add some dimensionals. And because I've got dimensionals like in here, I might just add some dimensionals down here to help um, stabilize it a little bit more just so it doesn't give too much bulk in there especially if you're mailing this card so definitely um so so let's see so let's add this onto here and I love don't you love like the big wide border so um what is my dimension so the blushing bride is three and three quarters, okay? And then one eighth inch less for that embossed piece. So three and five eighths wide is what that is. So three and three quarters. So five inches by three and three quarters for the blushing bride. And then three and five eighths by four and seven eighths for the white piece, okay? So it just gives more of a border um, and makes it more pronounced, don't you think? Um, versus just a quarter of an inch border. Okay, so there's that. But let's add a little bit more of this gold bling, if I can find it. I don't know, I was into gold. It was hard to decide what kind of bling to add. I don't know, do you guys like the gold? Um, there's just so many choices. Um, well, let's see. Um, let's go over here. And then let's go up here okay there we go so of course you could add a little bit more something to the inside here so let's um you know the seashell is kind of big but we're gonna just stamp it over here and i'm liking the starfish so let's stamp a starfish there and then they have kind of like i don't know this is I guess this I'm calling it maybe this should have been coral in a different in a, in a color but we'll just kind of add in this stuff there so fun 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 there we go okay so you could um, dress up your envelope with more stamping but I thought it would be fun to also add this on the envelope flap okay so make sure you're commenting because um, I haven't I've been really negligent. Um, I don't know, the, the jet lag really threw me when we got back from Maui. Um, so I'm just still have not caught up on my sleep because it was a six hour time difference. Um, and we didn't like have an, we had some overnight flights, but um, not, we left like at 2.30 in the afternoon and got home like at noon the next day. So it just kind of really through me for a loop um, but I'm slowly I think getting back on track so but I have sent out comment winners to random people comment winners so um, hopefully people have been 
um, some of you have been getting things in the mail this week, so make sure you're commenting, and I just need to post that I've sent them to people. So anyways, or at least post the cards for you to see. All right, so here is our second card. Oh, so if you have time, I've got one more to share with you, okay? Now this next one um, uses the pearlized paper. Have you guys seen this? This is new. Well, this was part of the Sweet Collection, and it's carrying over. So it's got like that shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a shimmer to it. It's kind of like doing your, you know, when we were making the shimmer paper. So it's kind of the same thing, okay? Um, so there's that. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do with this, okay? So here is this one right here. So what I've taken, so here, does it look like the same? I've added some um, color to this with my blending brush, okay? So let's start, maybe this, you can see this better. So you can see the difference. This is a lot more vanilla-y. And then you can see the, the tone, the hint of um, So Saffron on there. So we're gonna use So Saffron ink, okay? And let's just give it a swipe. And remember to start off your paper. And I'm trying to stay where I have already stamped so I don't like try to intermix my colors, especially the yellow, okay? And I'm going to try to kind of highlight the raised images here for you. I love these blending brushes. And I think they're on back order right now again. They just cannot keep them in stock. Um, and speaking of things that were on back order and unorderable, if you are loving that strawberry bundle, it's available now to purchase. So make sure you get going on that. It's strawberry season coming up, okay? And there's no telling when it's gonna go out of, um, out of stock again. Um, yeah, because I don't know how many pieces they got in. And then also, if you're placing orders online, um, generally there's always a host code on my blog. Um, I need to update for a June one, but make sure we've had issues with our online ordering system <coughs> so just make sure when you're checking out that i'm selected as your demonstrator and also check your receipt as well to make sure that they have selected me at the end um, that i'm your demonstrator because some orders have been um there's been a glitch and it's been going to other demonstrators. So just do a double checking if you would mind. Um, um, otherwise, I don't know that you've ordered and I can't say thank you. So um, we're only in the bundle. The strawberry designer paper, um, Gail, was just a celebration item, okay? Um, and I am going to try to pull together a strawberry class here soon okay and the paper will be part of that so um, you can um, there'll be different ways um, to where you can just do the make and takes just you know the same and then add on the bundle if you want to so there'll be different options okay so I do have um, limited amounts of the uh, strawberry paper left that I'm going to be um, sharing with the class. I've been waiting for the bundle to be ready. Now that it's here, I'm like, yikes, I gotta get busy and uh, design my class. So um, so hopefully I'll have some news on that soon, okay? Um, right now I'm trying to, I just finished up my retreat sample, so um, once I have the make and takes ready for that, because um, registration is closing soon. Then I'll be on to designing the strawberry class, okay? But, okay, so I pre-cut and stamped. I decided to try it on So Saffron ink. So let me hold that a little closer for you. So it looks a little different than the white. So what do you guys think? Do you like the whites, you know, the saffron on the white or on the um, saffron cardstock? So a little bit different. So let's finish it up so we can see oh good i love that paper too 
and um, because it'll be a limited amount of um, class attendees because I only have so much of it too. Um, so it'll be a fun class. Okay, so we're gonna put this on so saffron cardstock here. Good thing I've got lots of bone folders because they all seem to kind of disappear on my desktop. All right, so let's um, add this to here. I love the look of this shimmer paper. If only you guys could see it in real life. Um, it's really pretty. And you know what? I didn't even pay attention to my lighting today. Maybe that's why it's so dark. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I, I have my dining room light on. Okay, um, did I, yes I did, I stamped my greeting again. Oh, you like it on the white, you like both, good Linda, okay. Oh yeah, you can create your very good tip, Ellen, with the strawberry paper. You can definitely create your own background paper with just using the stamps and ink. So that will definitely be one of the things um, we do in the class too, is creating our own uh, paper with that because you wanna be able to, once you run out of paper, you need to be able to come up with ideas um, using just your stamps. So that will be part of it. Some samples will be using just your stamps and ink. Okay, so let me think here where I want that. I think like that. So we're gonna add more dimensionals over here okay and then let's add some adhesive here and almost done here so are you loving these um seashell cards so we've got that let's add another linen thread bow because it's doubled, I use 16 inches of linen thread here to create my bow. Um, where do I want that? I think I'm gonna put it right here. I forgot to put one on the other one. Okay. There we go. And then let's add some bling here as well there we go okay what do you guys think do you love it okay i like the seashells and white and stamped with so and ink okay deb welcome deb come i'm glad you're here hey friend okay so let's um what did i do i didn't stamp on there we're gonna add this uh, designer paper here to our envelope. I love this. Um, I think this goes great with the saffron. So let's add some Tombow glue to here and just put this on. So is anybody adding more designer paper to their envelope flaps now? You can see, just saw how quick and easy this was. So there's three cards for you. Whoops, hopefully um, that goes away. Let me just, I forgot about my phone. Okay, everybody, sorry about that. Um, okay, so let me see let's pull these back in and then i have a few other samples to show you as well so here's the three right here that we showcased today let me move a few things out of the way let's move this let's see what did i do here i think i did this envelope right with that card and then this one I don't know, what did I do with this one? We did this envelope flap. There we go. Okay, so there's our three cards for today. What do you guys think? And then, just to kind of showcase, 
you know how I love using all the designer paper in um, in my package so this is what kind of got me going was this inspiration doing this so here is um, this card here okay using this design here we have um, the sand dollars here as well and then here is another seashell one and then this one I didn't care for this is melon mambo and it's one of the colors in there so I wasn't I mean I love the design but I would definitely uh, change out my seashell color there probably to the misty moonlight and then here is this one here as well okay and then here's another one with the pearl paper so let me kind of um, show you the difference between these two so you can see this one's just um, with no ink on the background and this one I added the ink with the colored um, so um, the colored cardstock with um, highlighting it with more ink there as well and this one I didn't run through the embossing folder and this one I did so you can kind of see the difference you just it's a lot of just playing around using the embossing folder um, doing it on colored cardstock or, or just plain white so just there's so much versatility with this stamp set the dies and embossing folder um, just read on one you don't like can just stamp it over with another color yeah you could I mean you just have to kind of play it around and experiment um, yeah I love this one with the pink with the sand dollar is this the one I think um, uh, Linda that you're talking about this one yeah this one was neat too so a lot of fun a lot of versatility um, and everything but let me um, so I want to talk about the summer fun virtual retreat um, um, that I'm partnering with Missy Shipman. So, um, so I wanted to give, would you guys love to see like a little sneak peek of some of the um, projects, the make and take projects that we're doing? Um, I've got a few more I can show you. So registration closes um, this Friday, June 4th, okay? Um, so if you're on the fence, Give me a call because I would love to talk to you about it more. Um, and I decided this week to offer a in-person portion um, for anybody who'd like to come to my home. It's limited seating. The pricing is the same. Um, we would, uh, for in-person, it's just really doing the make and takes um, here. And then you would have uh, videos to uh, watch the demonstrations um, the extra demonstrations that go along with the retreat okay so those dates are um, July 1st um, I have a 9 to noon session or 1 to 4 or a 6 to 9 okay so if anybody is interested at in person just kind of let me know about that but here's a little sneak peek about this I emailed if you're on my email list I emailed um, more information about that. I think I showcased this one here. So here's a little simple one to get you started. And we're focusing on that ephemera pack, okay? I didn't grab the stamp set. Let me see here. I think I can. So your kit includes this gore, this really versatile um, stamp set, Biggest Wishes, Biggest Wish. Okay, everybody gets that in their kit. A package of the ephemera which let me see here I think I've got kind of a used one here let's see I didn't think about this um, here we go um, because I've been using it for my samples and these are really really cool I'm kind of glad we focused on this because it's a lot of fun well here's the majority of it okay so it's these gold accents and we're gonna give you all kinds of fun tips um, on how to use this throughout cards all the make and takes are using this and our add-on class is using some of it too so um, make sure you check out the add-on class with the chalks and that um, pretty flowers embossing folder you are gonna love that using these chalks oh I just finished up my samples for that um, that additional add-on class and it's amazing so um, 
Yeah, I didn't think about the add-on class. Um, so far, anybody who's signed up to do the in-person has only done the actual retreat. Treat. I might have to do the add-on class at an additional time. So, um, but it's really fun and easy to do. Okay. So, um, and you're going to get a sampling of that um, host-only designer paper. So I'm not too organized here with this. It's um, it's this gorgeous paper, and I don't know if I have all the designs here which I think I've showcased before. You are gonna love this paper because it's got really great designs on the front and then it's black and white on the back. So you can see all the designs in the host only portion. So um, if you never can, um, you know, get to a $150 order so you can get this yourself or, um, or host a workshop, then this is a great way to get your hands on this designer paper because you're gonna get a sampling of all 12 pieces of this paper and you're gonna love it. So you can create more stuff with it. Um, can't wait to learn more about the chalks. I know, you're gonna love it, Todd, because that's just totally up your alley. Okay, and of course, there's all kinds more um, surprises and delights in this retreat and there'll be challenges and we'll be playing um, some games on Friday night. Um, so just lots of fun things. And we'll also be offering um, an opportunity that anybody can get on um, for raising some funds for, um, for, um, for a charity, okay? And we'll be having more details about that really, really soon. All right, so let's go back to some more samples. So here's another great sample that this is one of our make and takes, very easy. And you don't need anything else for your make and takes. There might You might just need some ink, um, adhesive, and if there's something else, um, we would let you know. But it's everything else will be included. You know, everything's gonna be die cut for you and um, you'll have your ephemera pack to choose from as well. So this is one of my favorites here. Here's this fun one. It's got a really fun surprise inside. Okay, isn't that fun? So just a little sneak peek there. And then finally, here is this one here as well. Okay, oh, my poor samples are getting a little messed up here. So here's this fun fold right here. Isn't that cool? So just a little sneak peek. And um, so if you're interested in doing it virtually, um, the dates are June 25th and June 26th, and they're four two-hour sessions, okay? And the reason for that is because we wanted to kind of break it up and um, so people could fit in more of the sessions um, in their schedule, okay? But everything's gonna be recorded, and you're just gonna be amazed with this kit. There's a great swag bag for you and lots of treats. Um, we even brought something back. Well, we, we just lots of treats and surprises, okay? And so let's see, Friday sessions are three to five or seven to nine, okay? So you got a little break in between there. And then um, Saturday is nine to 11 or, and also one to three, okay? So some breaks in between. So um, you can work around your schedule. Um, if there is a session you can't, you can watch the recording um, after the event, okay? Um, or if you're interested in joining me here in my home, July 1st, um, as I said, it was nine to noon. Um, we're just only gonna do the make and takes and then I'll make sure you are um, you get the recordings. You'll, you can still be invited to our Facebook group so you can still um, participate in the challenges. There'll be pro challenge prizes and all kinds of fun things. Um, you do not have to be vaccinated, Gail. I'm just asking that um, you just wear a mask just for your own protection, okay? Um, and that, that'll be fine, okay? So, um, so yeah, just message me um, if you want further details, but I would love to have you join me, whether virtually or in person, and I'm limiting it to um, five people, um, I think. I think just five, five or six people in a session, okay? Um, yeah. So, and then this will be kind of like a little kickoff um, to um, further in-person classes gradually, okay? Um, because... 
I got a lot of organizing to do. I've been working on organizing, reorganizing my office here and um, the garage needs it desperately. So I have to work on that as well. So, and and I need to get my taxes done. So I gotta do that. I, I didn't do them before we left. So um, I have to finish that first before I really get going on more classes. So anyways, okay. So Gail, I would love to have you join me. Just message me and we can talk further or just go fill out the um, the registration form. Um, it's on my um, blog. I think it's on Facebook here too. Um, and it's in the email I sent. There's a link for the registration form. And just put um, in person. Uh, the in person registration is eligible for the early bird pricing since I um, just offered that this week okay but registration definitely closes on Friday all right and um, yeah so thanks for joining in everybody and look um, on my blog for that um, bonus card that I'm going to show you using this um, Cisa this friends are like Cisha this that's a tongue twister Friends are like seashells, um, stamp set and the seaside shells embossing folder. So have an awesome day. Hopefully it stays dry and stay cool, everybody. Thanks so much. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.